So we are just going to start for the first safari. Our guide has already, uh, you know, waiting in the reception. So let's let's see how the luck favors us. This is the first time uh, in Kaziranga. So let's see. <coughs> Very good morning, Kako. How are you? So he is our guide. Uh, his name is Kaku. Uh, he's, uh, he's a good photographer as well. So he's going to show us uh, cats and uh, rhinos then. We just started our first safari. It's too cold. Uh, the time should be around half past five. And we are cutting across a chill breeze. It should be around 12 to 13 degrees Celsius. So we have to drive down another 12 kilometers to reach the western zone. Once we reach there, we'll take a jeep to go core into the zone and to spot rhinos and other legendary fies. I'm not sure what we are going to spot, uh, but let's hope for the best and see what we can see. It's too chill here. Hi friends, we are here in Kaziranga and we are going on a first safari here. Uh, let's see how the luck favors. The climate is really really cool, chill breeze. Um, we are currently we are just trying to spot some rhinos now uh, to start with. Uh, let's see if they are, if we are able to catch spot. If we are able to catch spot, uh, you know then it's gonna be a bonus. But we are here only for mainly for the rhinos. Let's see what we are uh, spotting. Kaziranga is not just a land for rhino, it's also a birding paradise, with over 500 plus species of birds grazing in skies and wetlands. And we get lot of migratory birds such as bar-headed goats from Himalayas and other migratory birds across the globe. The journey itself is exciting and adventurous. As we drive down into the Kaziranga core zone, we are welcomed by the beautiful creation of Mother Nature. Hog deers are quite commonly found in Kaziranga National Park, but it's pretty rare to sight in the other national park in India. So we are just still uh, tracking for the rhinos. We are on a first safari in Kaziranga. Uh, we are in the central zone now. It's pretty big for us and it has got thousand, somewhere around 1900 square kilometers. Uh, we have got good population of rhinos here, but unfortunately till now, we are not able to sight any rhinos. But yeah, we did had good sighting of uh, some elephants, um, hog deers, and also a swam bear on a little bit uh, far distance. Let's see, uh, we are still uh, trying to, you know, like, you know, patrol all the regions here wherever the rhinos normally are uh, used to craze. So let's see if we are uh, lucky enough to see rhinos today. Hey guys, we are having a wonderful sighting of a rhino straight over there, just grazing in the open grassland. Got some beautiful pics and the clips. If you could see over there. Just stand with our second safari. Uh, the safari.
safari was awesome. We just concluded our safari with a beautiful sighting of a male rhino just on the road, and we got some beautiful pics uh, from out that rhino. It was awesome, and we also got some uh, good uh, sighting of swam deer, uh, male and female, uh, grazing uh, on foot. Uh, it was absolutely a good one. I mean, this forest has just definitely got a good number of rhinos. Roughly around 2,000 plus rhinos are here. And the forest is pretty big, it's 1,900 square kilometers. It's a pretty good good time. Uh, and this is just, it's just gonna be, it's still 15 more minutes for 5 o'clock, but it's pretty dark now. Um, you know, so by 5 o'clock, almost like, you know, we'll have um, the moon coming out. So we're just heading back to the resort now. After our day-long game drive in the jungle, we had this opportunity to spend time with the local tea tribal community of Assam. We engaged in harmonious dancing with them, participating in a traditional folk dance called Jhumur. This dance involves young girls performing graceful moments while male contributes by maintaining the rhythm, vocals and playing musical instruments. Indeed, it was an absolute honor and deeply soothing experience for us to immerse ourselves in their cultural activity, sharing moments of joy and connections through their traditional dance and it gives us a profound sense of appreciation for their heritage and community spirit. Thank you for joining me on this unforgettable journey through Kaziranga National Park. If you like this video, hit on the like button and on the bell button to get yourself notified with the next adventurous video of mine. If you are still not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe our channel. Until next time, be safe, keep exploring. Thank you so much.